Namaste. Hi. For the day, let's practice the Brahmari Pranayama or the Humming Bee Breath. And then later on after the session, I will be discussing the progression of the program. Brahmari Pranayama is effective in correcting imbalances in the inner ear. It develops our throat. It's good for the cardiorespiratory system and it's calming and relaxing for the mind. So it's a good practice before your meditation and stillness. All right, let's start. Yeah. Sitting or standing tall. Loosen the neck and begin to become aware of your breath. Inhale through the nose and now through the nose. Keep the spine open, the chest neutrally open. Next time you inhale, send your internal eyes to look between the eyebrows, the forehead center. And at the top, suspend and hold it for one or two seconds. Let the breath hang, higher up. And exhale, completely relax the shoulders, relax the jaw, loosen your teeth and the lips. Hear the breath now, listen to the quiet sound of the inhalation and the low humming vibration of your exhalation. And we open our eyes next. Right. Preparing our thumbs and the rest of the fingers, the rest of the forehead. Breathing in a light chin mudra. At the top of the breath, lightly close the ears. Vibrate the vocal cords through the duration of your exhalation. Release the hands, forming the Gyan Mudra, and then just rest your hands. Allow the breath to flow again, and a moment of stillness, feeling the vibration inside the inner brain, the subtle frequencies, your ears still here, around the forehead, across your temples, Eyes open next, second round, breathing in, pull the throat in and up, look between the eyebrows with your internal eyes, fix higher up, close the ears, and then hum. Mm. Mild recovery inhalation. Exhale. Again, Woodrow again. Rest for a moment. Focusing on the vibration inside the inner brain. Make your breath lighter so you can feel the subtleness of your own vibration. You may restore the mouth by lightly moving the tongue and brushing the tip of the tongue against the upper palate towards the back of the mouth. You may swallow a few times to restore the throat. One more. Eyes open. Preparing your hands. 
exhale, breathing in. Close the ears and um. Mm. Loosen a mild inhalation and exhale. Mudra again. Right. And keeping your body still, and just listen. And while you listen, your mind counts 12 to 1. Open. and allow your breath to nourish the lungs good so that's the basic practice build up from there good and adding one or two repetitions every two or three weeks don't rush what's more important is the lightness of the technique right. now the progression right. um you want to build up your practice of the Brahmari Pranayama uh, until you can comfortably uh, practice 12 repetitions in a session with short breaks in between. And then once that program becomes slight already, you may want to apply now the Shanmukhi Mudra in the practice of the Brahmari. Shanmukhi Mudra is a spiritual gesture or symbol of uh, closing and sealing the gateways or the pathways of the energy yeah, which represent uh, five uh, external senses and the other one yeah, the extra sensory sense yeah all right so the six senses yeah so it's a way for us to detach you know, from the pleasure and the calling of the senses so we can uh, feel the subtleness which is behind those senses until the sixth sense start to manifest the extra sensory sense yeah? and it's also an energetic practice of confining the energy inside yeah, as we practice the technique and to do that gesture we're going to be using our hands yeah, to assist us so the first three fingers will lightly cup your eyes you know, the eyelids so the eyelids can fold down the eyes can relax inside with your ring finger lightly towards the sides of the nose like that don't press yeah it's more of uh, a mild touch yeah and then the small fingers will lightly you know, you know, uh, pull the edges of your lips outwards you know, like you're sealing your lips yeah? closing them up good and the thumbs like the first round, like the first technique, uh, lightly close your ears. All right. Don't press. Yeah. Just keep your fingers slightly resting on your face, in the lips, and the thumbs lightly press against the ears. All right. Shamukhi Mudra. Breathing in. Open the elbows out to the sides. At the top. Close the ears and a mild cupping of your face. And then hum and vibrate through the duration of the exhalation. Mm. Loosen a mild inhalation to lift the heaviness up and exhale to release. Good. That's Shambhuki Mudra. It's quite meditative, that one, since the eyes can relax inside, since your hands or your fingers are lightly um, cupping your eyelids. To the future, once the Shambhuki Mudra becomes light, 
what you're gonna do next is to close the ears already before you do your inhalation. And then you will hear and then feel the vibration of the in-breath inside the inner brain. All right, and the exhale is the same as the first technique. All right, you may use your index fingers actually. Yeah. Closing the ears already. Inhale. Loosen. You might feel this need to lightly inhale. Just to clip and exhale. All right. What it does, um, it increases um, the stimulation of the inner brain. Right. To advance the practice, right, both the inhalation and the exhalation will enjoy the humming vibration. All right. So the inhalation will produce that slightly higher frequency as you vibrate the vocal cords and that in turn will stimulate the uh, Talu chakra and the Ajna chakra, the higher chakras of the Asa system. And the low humming vibration of the exhalation will stimulate the chakra of the heart, the Anahata, and the chakra of the throat, the Vishuddhi chakra. This is quite challenging as there is a need to really control the flow of the breath even more. So you don't run out of breath and the application of the pressure is mouth only. So we don't strain the vocal cords and at the same time we keep the vital organs of the lungs and the heart light inside. And to add more internal support and for the function of channeling the energy lightly inside the inner brain, the three fundamental bandhas, the Mula Bandha, Vidyana Bandha and the Charandara Bandha would have to be applied. All right. So, at the bottom of that exhalation, before you close the ears, yeah, you're going to lightly yeah, activate the Mula Bandha, the core, yeah, and a light Udiyana Bandha as you suck the breath up and vibrate the vocal cords. And the Chalandara Bandha will regulate yeah, the levels of electricity which we allow to enter the inner brain. Alright, so this is really good in flowing the energy, the Kundalini energy, and at the same time stimulate the chakras, um, the mini chakras of the Asa system from the hips uh, all the way up to the inner brain. Alright, so I'll be showing you the advanced practice of the Brahmari Pranayama. So that could be intense actually. Just that one repetition, it's um, swooning inside the ready. So we need to um, really regulate the flow of the energy and the breath and not to overdo it. You know, maybe three or four repetitions in a session. That would be enough to lightly stimulate the inner brain. After the practice of the Brahmari Pranayama, your senses get amplified. They become more open and sensitive and your nervous system gets stimulated. Not just your sense of hearing, but also your sense of sight. The images, the colors, the lines, the patterns, they will come across crisp, sharp, and brighter. Right? And your sense of feeling, your skin will feel a little bit more sensitive. You'll be able to feel the inner pulsations of the inner body, the sounds there, and the sounds and the vibration of the inner brain. And the sounds sometimes echo 
inside the inner brain and you will be able to hear really clearly like it echoes from the left hemisphere the left hemisphere gets really sensitive after the practice of the brahmari like the sounds you know, comes from there like echo now, these are all part of the process of your senses becoming more open and awake uh, and as the nervous system gets stimulated uh, you're gonna get used to it all right and this will become your normal it's been there all along now you're feeling it already see you next time namaste for the detailed tutorial and the lecture of the brahmari pranayama you may want to take a look at that past lesson i've given a while back so you can appreciate the technique and understand the principles and the energetic significance of this practice. The link of that video is in the description box down below. See you next time.